The LOX agency runs a freshwater fisheries monitoring program, which incorporates many different projects. We are committed to delivering best practice and innovative fisheries management through the use of applied fishery science. All our fisheries monitoring projects are designed to contribute towards evidence-based management of our fisheries resources as effectively and efficiently as possible. This video demonstrates some of the methods and equipment used. In the spring, we regularly deploy a rotary screw trap in the river Fulham. This is a trap used to capture migrating fish. Traditionally, we've used this to capture downstream migrating Atlantic salmon smolts. Since 2014, we've deployed the trap to capture sea trout smolts and migrating lamprey. This is to collect key biological data to add to our growing baseline of information. The underwater images mainly show Atlantic salmon smolts, which along with roach and sticklebacks are a bycatch and after being counted are quickly and carefully released. The sea trout smolts and lamprey are taken ashore from measurement and sampling. All fish are anaesthetised so that they can be measured and handled quickly and as gently as possible. Length and weights are recorded with a small sample of scales taken to determine age. A good specimen of a sea trout, 21.4, 86.7, 80. The adipose fin is clipped and this tissue sample is used for genetic analysis. As can be clearly observed, sea trout smolts are generally larger than Atlantic salmon smolts. Two species of lamprey, the brook lamprey and the river lamprey, are also of interest. River lamprey are the bigger of the two species. Both species spawn in springtime, with the river lamprey returning from sea, where they feed in other fish species parasitically. River lamprey are jawless fish, which attach to their host with their toothed oral disc. They then feed on the body fluids of the host species. The lamprey are also measured and weighed, and fin clips taken for genetic analysis. The brook lamprey complete their life cycle in fresh water and are not parasitic, feeding instead on detritus. All fish are carefully returned to the river to complete their migrations. During the summer months, LOX Agency staff undertake an ongoing fish monitoring project in support of the Water Framework Directive. Working in sometimes challenging environments, a variety of survey equipment is used to capture representative samples of fish from surveillance sites which are monitored on a three-year ruling basis. Access to these sites can sometimes be tricky. A seam net is deployed to encircle fish resting in deeper water.
Both ends are then hauled ashore with the catch being corralled in the center of the net. This is a carefully coordinated team effort. The fish are then quickly transferred into buckets of clean water where they're kept until they can be measured and weighed. Careful records must be made so that the data can be analysed and interpreted back in the lab before a survey report can be prepared. Fike nets and other live capture method are also deployed in deeper water and are used to specifically target European eels. Fike nets are conical in shape and form a pair when joined together with a leader which directs any fish into the trap. Electrofishing is one of the main tools the LOX agency uses to monitor health of freshwater fish populations. The same sites are fished at regular intervals using the same methods to allow for an index of abundance to be created, comparing numbers, age classes and species present over time. A number of methods of electrofishing can be used, including timed surveys and quantitative surveys. The latter is used to calculate densities of fish per metre squared of river. In autumn and early winter, the rotary screw trap is relocated to catch migrating brown trout. This time the rotary screw trap is installed at the outflow from Loch Derg in the Pedigo Plateau area of County Donegal. Since 2009 the rotary screw trap has been operated in partnership by the Pedigo and District Angling Association and the Locks Agency. A fantastic local example of citizen science and practice. In addition to collecting key biological, run timing and abundance information a genetic stock identification exercise is ongoing to assign lock trout to a tributary of origin. Over there, is there now? 
Interesting bycatch at this time of year can include sexually mature, precocious salmon par. This exemplar project is a great example of capacity building, where dedicated stakeholders are working in close partnership with a statutory body to deliver a coordinated approach with the aim of conserving, protecting and improving a species of significance. A wider partnership is developed, including Quilcha, the local forestry managers, Queen's University Belfast and the Wild Trout Trust.